couple minutes early. I just thought I was going to do a little warm up um, quickly, like we did last time, a little lightning round warm up. So this is just a Wednesday puzzle. Start with a 32, why not? So 32 across English architect Jones. I don't know who that is. So let's do 27 down. What some eyeglasses lack. What some eyeglasses lack. I mean, I guess I could say, mm. I really don't know. <laughs> 28 down. Basic subject for a surgeon. Maybe anatomy. Let's do that. 27 across. Rarer than rare. Hello, Z. Oh my god, hey. Rarer than rare. I don't know. Um, hey guys, I'm just doing a little lightning round warm up because I didn't do anything on TikTok. So, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, Stormy Penguin, you are right on time. 32 across. English architect Jones already looked at that. See, 42 across proofreaders, leave it in would be stet. <laughs> Rebus, super rare. What's up, you guys? Hello! 27 down. I'm just doing a little lightning warm up round. What some eyeglasses lack. What some eye. Why do I, I want to say lens, but I don't think that's right. Um. 33 down. Hello. Hey, hey girl, hey. 33 down. Upscale Swiss ski resort. Upscale Swiss ski resort. Crossword time. Fashion ones don't always have lenses. I know, but I think it would be plural. You think arms? Let's see, 27 across was rarer than rare. Rarer than rare. And 32 across was English architect Jones. Triple A, you think, Francesca? Raw, oh, raw, that's good. We're just doing a lightning round um, warm up. So 27 down, what some eyeglasses lack. Rims. Rims. Good God. I don't know why that was so hard to find. I'm going to just read 38 across. I don't know what the circles mean yet. 38 across. Come up in the world? Question mark. Come up in the world? Question mark. We don't know the theme yet. It's our little warm up. 29 down. Ba uh, no. Like some terriers. Like some terriers. Mm, I don't know. I, get, I don't know why this is all so hard. Wire haired? Okay, dang. Wire haired. I kind of started in a rough spot, at least for me. 67 across. Acid. Acid. LSD. 64 across. One of three figures carved on Georgia's stone mountain. One of three LDS. <laughs> One of three figures st <laughs> carved on Georgia's stone mountain. D-D-E-O. Okay. 60 across. Fumble or stumble. Fumble or stumble. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Marco, it has been a while. Um, let's see, 50 down, stink, stink, I don't know about this DL moment, oh, air, oh, I see, air, stink, sand L, <laughs> hi, you guys, we're just doing, um, lightning round, lightning round, warm up, 51 down, Oh, smell. Oh, yeah. So maybe DDE is wrong. Just for this one. I'm sure that is correct. 51 down. Some funeral arrangements. Some funeral arrangements. Oh, so Lee. I see. Some funeral arrangements. P 
higher. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. 54 across. Die Hard Fans Cry. My idol. My idol. Um, so 50 across. We don't know what the circles are yet. 50 across. Throw in the towel? Question mark. Throw in the towel? Question mark. So... I know, Alina, I almost said it. <laughs> oh my god, yes, K Paula. What's up? There's no title because this one's just a little warm up moment because I didn't do it on TikTok. 46 down. Checks out. Checks out. I, I really thought that. <laughs> I, I like really am not doing well with this one. <laughs> like, I'm not getting them very much. 46 down. Checks out. Um, it would just, yeah, Ben, if you look at, like, if someone is live, like, if I was live and you went to my profile, my whole profile picture would be highlighted and you could, and it would say live under it and you could just click my picture and then it would show that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's look at 39 down. Big name in stain removal. Big name in stain removal. OxyClean. Ooh, I'm proud of that one, actually. OxyClean. I think that's right. 68 across. 68 across. Uh, Mortimer Blank. Dummy voiced by Edgar Bergen. I don't know. What the heck? I don't know any of these. I think it's a Y. We shall see. 65 across. Gone. Oh, okay. 65 across. Gone from the plate. Gone from the plate. Eaten. Okay. 62 down is highway or route. 52 down. Not so risky. Would be safer. Hi everyone. Just doing a little warm up. We'll get into our real stuff in a little bit. Just wanted to, you know, warm up the brains a little bit. Forty seven down, one time pop star Donnie Osmond. Fifty five across. Question of introspection. Am I? <laughs> Oh my god, every day. 48 down. Neo blank, film genre. Neo noir. Saw people saying that before. 47 across. Inseparable. Inseparable. One, I guess. Is it me? Am I the drama? <laughs> I don't think I'm the drama. Am I? 41 down. Stadium ticket specification. Tier, maybe. Okay, so 61 across. Still don't know what the circles are. Ace in the hole, question mark. Ace in the hole, question mark. Yeah, perform. This feels like something scissor 50 across. Throw in the towel, question mark. Hmm. Well, pass is in the circles. Hmm, 46 down was checks out, checks out, um, 45 across, spa accessory, oh, oh my god, spa accessory, that's good, spa accessory, and the clue was throw in the towel, oh, so pass is inside of the towel, which is a spa accessory. It's like a cryptic clue a little bit. Oh my god. Okay, dang. <laughs> so 61 across is ace in the hole. Ace in the hole. So ace or a pro in the hole. Perforation. Ooh, proud of that one. Really proud of that one, actually. 
<clears throat> wow. This is a good one. Okay. 63 down. Visitor from the planet Melmac. I'm assuming Alf. I don't really know, though. Who wrote this crossword? Oh, this is Ned White. Ned White. 69 across. Shutterbug's setting. Shutterbug's, sorry. Shutterbug's setting. And maybe Flash. Oh, F-stop. Focus, F-stop. I'm going to say F-stop. I think it's going to be a little out there. Oops. <laughs> 66 across. Lewis, who sang the theme for <gasps> Avatar. Oh, wait. Oh, Leona Lewis. I was thinking of Lord of the Rings. 53 down. Rowdy Blank, lead role on TV's Raw Hide. Yates, I guess. 57 down. Real Scream would be a riot. 58 down. Part of MSG. I guess mono. 56 across provides pieces for arms. 59 down. Cinch. A snap. This is our puzzle so far. This is our warm up, everyone. Hello, welcome. Just doing um, a little warm up for us before we get into our cryptic. <clears throat> 45 across. Blank ever occurred to you? It is an I. I knew it. Has it ever occurred to you? Forty down. Baptism, for example, is a right. Forty-three across. Omicron's predecessors. Z's. Z. Omicron pi rho sigma tau upsilon. Thirty-four down. <laughs> Thirty-four down. Palindromic nickname. Palindromic nickname, maybe sis. Yeah, the theme, there's no title for this one. This is just a little warm-up, 15 by 15. But there is, I mean, there is a little bit of a theme. But how about we go into 38 across so that we can talk about it. Come up in the world, question mark. Come up in the world. So this whole clue or this whole answer is going to be a synonym for the world. And all the circles are going to mean come up. So arise, probably. Arise in the world. Come up in the world. I want to get this, but I don't think I know what it is. Hmm. Uh... Mario and Luigi? No. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. So 32 across. I've read this so many times that I don't know. English architect Jones. English architect Jones. 33 down is upscale Swiss ski resort. Inigo. That's what I was thinking. Inigo Montoya. Let's say Inigo. Mars something. Okay, 25 down. Starting on. Starting on. Wait, what did Marco say? Mars, for instance. Wait, I don't get it. Mars, for instance. Is that a way people talk about the world? <laughs> It's a world. Oh, it could be the world. Mars is, for instance, a world. Oh, good one, Marco. Man, we've missed you. Okay, 25 down was starting on. Starting on. Um, 
thirty four as of oh as of thank you like as of today okay thirty four across I don't know why I went over there thirty four across grab a stool say grab a stool would be sit twenty six down home of the Blarney Stone would be Erin of course I think <laughs> I just said that um thirty one across time off informally time yes Erin teaches. Time off informally. I don't know. R R and R. <gasps> Rand R. Hi, Nora. Rand. <laughs> oh my god. It's so rude for them to do this. Rand R. Sand P. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, 30 across. Bourbon and Beale abbreviation would be streets. 18 down. When repeated, a club game, question mark. When repeated, a club game, question mark. Putt putt, oh, good one. Um, 21 across. Blank Vez, once. Uno Vez. Wait, Una? Uno. Una? Una. Six down. Transportation safety workers, for example. Transportation safety workers, for example. I have been waiting for someone like you. Seven down. Fables end. Fables end. And they all live happily ever after. That's what I want it to be, but it's not. Crickets. Oh, moral. Good one. Marco is here. We're good. <laughs> so true. Okay, let's look at 24 across. Another theme one. Snake in the grass? Question mark. Snake in the grass. So this is going to be a snake. And it's one that I hear all the time and I can't remember what it is. Dang it. What is it? Adder. That's it. Snake in the grass. Rattle. Hmm. The grass. Battle. Cattle fodder. Cattle fodder. Nice. Um, nine down. Olive oil and fish oil are high in them. Olive oil and fish oil are high in them. Something fats. <laughs> Trans, no. Uh, I don't know. Good fats, you think? Cows eat cud, ew. <laughs> Good fats, I guess. 10 down. When a nautical day begins. When a nautical day begins. At noon. I wanted to say high noon, but that's obviously not right. Awesome. 22 across. Art often of marginal quality? Question mark. Art often of marginal quality? Question mark. Doodles. Oh, I love that. Doodle, that's a good one. Oh, Goggles Girl, thanks for the sub. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Um, let's do 23 down. One who's out. One who's out is the odd man. Um, 44 across. Signed. Or inked, maybe. And let's go 11 down here. 11 down. Screwdrivers, for example is something drinks mixed no iced hard hard drinks 11 across guffaw syllable would be har ha ha what do you think ha let's try w Four, 13 down, one handy with a lariat, with a lariat, a labrat. 
one handy with a lar lariat. <laughs> roper mm, a roper okay so it's an r thank you mitten beak um 12 down like gymnasts would be agile 16 across was previously or ago. 19 across headstone letters. RIP. Sad. 35 across headstone. Oh my god. What are the odds? Question mark. Headstone. Question mark. Capital S on stone. Oh, uh, Mick Jagger. 36 down. Included in an email chain would be CC'd. 37 down, Converse Competitor would be Keds, and 49 across was 1960s Campus Organization. We are almost there, 60, or er, 6 across, female friend to Felipe, the Amiga, 15 across, unseen title character in a classic play, unseen title character, oh Godot. How do you, how does everyone else say it? I've heard it a lot of ways. Eight down. Cards at a club, say, would be IDs. Six down. Transportation would be agents. Godot. We can go dot. Supposed to say the T. Oh, okay. Godot, go dot, gado. I've heard lots of different things. Um, 17 across, bird in the hand, question mark. So heron is the bird in the hand. <clears throat> Hired person, oh good one. Hired person, nice, one down. Former CNN anchor Paula, I don't know, two down. Knight memoirist Ellie Wiesel, three down. Nimble, especially for one's age, Spry. Zane or Zahn. 20 across. R&B singer with the 2000 hits, so 2006 hit, so sick, so sick of, so sick of love songs. That's it, right? Cause I'm so sick of love songs. 14 across. Top dog. Alpha. <laughs> that took me a while. And one across. Piquant garnishes would be zest. And four down was 2000's Fox Drama Set a New Bird Beast to the OC. Five down was Elegiac. Boom! <clears throat> and that, my friends, was our warm up. We're not done. Oh, what? Heck no. Okay, you guys, I'm just going to warn you. I have not. In the last three days, stopped listening to Bridgerton, the musical. I can't. I cannot stop listening to it. And it is in my head when I go to sleep, and it's in my head when I wake up. It is so good, and I just know that I'm going to break out into song at many, many points because it's, it's going through my head right now. Right now. And I can't. The, it, it is hurting me how good some of the songs are. Have you guys heard um, Every Inch? Oh my god. It makes me cry every time. It's so good. Oh my god. It's so good. Anyway, just know that that might happen. <laughs> if there's a, a word in here, any word, any word that reminds me of, right now what's going through my head is, I have been waiting for someone like him someone like this something like this i'm in love with
of him, every inch of him, every inch, every inch. You guys, I can't, I really can't, I can't, it's so good. Schmigadoon, I did watch um, some of Schmigadoon, Ben, and I liked it because it was very funny, and like I totally get it, it's like I like all the references, whatever, um, but by like episode three I was like, I get it, you know what I mean, but I liked it, it was good. <clears throat> Bettina, you must listen to it. It just came out on Spotify like a few days ago. And I was like reluctant to listen to it because I saw all the hype. <laughs> and I don't know, something about that makes me not want to listen to it. But a lot of my job during the day is just driving. And so I was like, I'll just turn it on. And I was transported. <laughs> it is un freaking believable. I haven't watched Come From Away yet, but I will. Oh my god, it's so good. I, Lula Rich just got put on my list. I have to watch it. I'm obsessed with like anti-MLM. I think it is the funniest thing ever. And it's not actually that funny. It's kind of sad, but it's, it, it, it's going in my brain. It won't stop. I can't sleep at night because it's just going in my brain. <sighs> I have been waiting for... Who comes up with that? <gasps> she is night, she is day, she is sunrise, she is rain. Oh my god, it makes me want to cry. Okay, 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 okay. I do have our puzzle ready. In the Heights is my favorite musical of all time, other than Phantom of the Opera. And I have not seen the movie because I'm scared. Oh my god, you scared me so bad. You're fine. <clears throat> she is right. I know. I saw. I saw the little clip that they posted on TikTok of um, of um, Abigail Barlow and Darren Chris, and then Emily on the piano, and it was great. I mean, that song is like haunting. The whole soundtrack. That's what I get from it. Other than like a couple of like the upbeat songs, it's just haunting. Like it hurts. It hurts. I know, I believe, Barrett, I believe that the movie is good, and I think what, how I feel is I need to be in the right setting, because I, I haven't seen it in theaters, I don't know if it's even still in theaters, but because it's so close to my heart, like, it really is, like, one of the most moving musicals, in my opinion, like, to me, and to so many other people, obviously, I feel like I need to, like, have a good setup, and, like, really be in the right mood for it, because I know I'm gonna just, like, be a puddle so that's how I feel <clears throat> I appreciate you all hyping me up for the singing just know that it's gonna keep happening so <laughs> I can't stop yes Libby okay you get it because that's how I felt and this is still very tender to me but like for the friends reunion I was like putting it off and I almost didn't watch it because I was so overwhelmed I don't even know how to describe it. I was so overwhelmed. And I was like, I need to just have a night where I know no one's going to interrupt me. And I literally sat in my bed and I, I knew I wanted to play it on my laptop. Like, I needed to be alone, okay? I turned off all the lights. I lit a candle and I watched it. And I've never, I actually don't know if I've cried that hard other than like from a breakup. I was beside myself. So that's why I feel, <laughs> I just, I feel so many, I feel so many things, you know? Oh, Barrett, I feel that into the woods. Although I didn't hate it, but like, it's not ever going to be like how the stage musical was, right? Oh, there we go, Barrett, first one to that's so crazy to me. She's doing such amazing things. Yes. Oh my God, Angel Cake, you're so right. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I know this is very insular, isn't it? The whole musical talk, but the last three days have just been filled with... And honestly, if you'll indulge me for like five more seconds, there is like such a specific and beautiful feeling that comes when you when you hear a soundtrack for the first time that you know you're going to be obsessed with. And I think I haven't felt that for a while just cuz like maybe I haven't listened to a ton in you know lately or whatever and it's a time commitment like you need to in my opinion I need to sit down and listen to every single track and like get the whole storyline and stuff and like experience it. And I was like, well, I'm driving around, so I might as well... (gasps) Oh my God, Spring Awakening, (laughs) same. (laughs) And so I was like, I might as well just listen to it. And it just, it just um, really lit me up. And it like um, invigorated me. And it made me really happy and excited about musical theater. And that's like one of my favorite feelings. So that is that. Thank you for indulging me. I just can't stop listening to it. I really can't. And I cannot recommend it enough. Singing and dancing about a rat. I know. And I didn't listen to rat Ratatouzical. <laughs> the Ratatouzical. Because I was like, I'm afraid I'm not going to like it. And I don't want to not like it. Because I love it when people create things. So I didn't listen to it. But Bridgerton, just that one song that had been released forever. This is what you call a honeymoon. Pacing the no separate rooms. Running. My grandma took me to the opera a lot when I was a little kid, but the first Western musical I saw on stage was Phantom of the Opera as a kid, and it was great. <sighs> Greatest... Oh, it is not amateur at all, Julie Nicole. Greatest Showman is incredible. Alina, Wizard... I mean, <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Phantom of the Opera is my all-time favorite show and my all-time dream role, and I have always said that I can die once I have played that role. I am... I am 100% with you. I've seen it a million times on stage. Wizard of Oz. Chandelier crashing down. There's just nothing like it. Chandelier. <laughs> Stupid header. Nor- it's so true, Crom Servo. You are not wrong. Waiting for the good... Waiting for good no soundtrack. <laughs> Christine Daae. Also good in crosswords. So true. Or Christine. Oh, you guys... The amount of times I've auditioned for <laughs> for that freaking show, it's crazy. But I really have faith. I mean, it's like, that's a bucket list item. My first professional show I saw was West Side Story. It was incredible. <laughs> West Side Story is incredible. <laughs> ben. <sighs> I just want to talk about musicals. Okay, but we should do this. So, because we need to finish our cryptic. That's why I didn't do a warm up on TikTok was because I didn't want to bring a bunch a bunch of people over from TikTok and then be like, "We're doing a cryptic," because they would all be like, "I hate you." (laughs) Asher Richardson doing a French accent when no one else is. Mini Driver is perfection. You are absolutely correct. Oh my God, yes. Honestly, Alina, thank you for saying that because I was just saying how that film is like truly like one of my all-time guilty pleasures and I know I should not like it because it's like not whatever, but I love it. (laughs) I love it so much. Oh my God, yes, Brittany, yeah. (laughs) Okay, we're getting into it. Hold on. Say I'm yours. Oh, I just accidentally pressed start virtual camera. I don't know what that means. Promise you'll never be oceans apart. Cause I burn. Mm-hmm. Emmy Rossum is astounding. She was literally 16. <laughs> what the hell? But that's what's like inappropriate. Like Gerard Butler was much older. High School Musical, yes, now. Okay, High School Musical is amazing. (laughs) Okay. I'm feeling so heavy. 
because I just love Bridget and the Musical so much. <laughs> Here we go. Um, I know it's crosswords and cocktails. I don't have a cocktail today. I... I'm trying to cut back on drinking a little bit, so I have water. But anyone that has a cocktail, please, oh please, drink. I just spilled. Okay. Here we go. Finishing our cryptic. <clears throat> this is what it looks like so far. Day two of a migraine. Brittany, no. So we're almost there, you guys. We've just got a couple across, a couple, a couple more to go, and then we'll tackle that that middle section. So why don't we go for eighteen down? Mm, Lion King is so good, though. Eighteen down. French-speaking hub, center of the Cajun County. French-speaking hub, center of the Cajun County. <clears throat> oh my god, yes, French alert. <laughs> French speaking hub. So center of the Cajun County makes me feel like it's going to be in the middle of Cajun County somewhere. But then there's no R there, so I don't know about that. Yeah, is speaking um, a homophone? Cajun County is the definition. Oh. New Orleans. <laughs> That's all I've got. Speaking is not a homophone. Okay. Center of the is something. So center of the, maybe so an H. Maybe it ends in an H. Okay. I'm going to say it ends in an H. Technically, Louisiana doesn't have counties. They have, they are parishes. Oh, is it parish? Oh, Paris H. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. Love that. That's good because I was not going to know any counties. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Thanks, Catherine. Thanks, Ben. Um, yeah, that was perfect. That was, like, amazing. Okay, so great. Uh, let's do 20 down. 20 down. We've got layout published sacred text. Layout published sacred text. Sacred text is the definition, okay? Not a double definition. Answer the proper noun. I have an I have a guess, but I don't know how it would go into layout published. Layout published. So layout has a different, mm, think of sports.
Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to say it. Well, I mean, I can, but I just want to understand. Ran. Oh, published. Maybe ran. Quran. The Quran. Right? The Quran. Okay. What does it start with? Okay. Q? K. Oh, K O. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Published. Ran. The Quran. Okay. Boom. Let's see. 19 across. Quran. Okay. I thought it was sometimes with a Q. 19 across is bring about the demise of wrong king. Bring about the demise of wrong king. Promise you'll never be oceans apart. Cause I Bring about the demise of wrong king. So I'm assuming king is the definition. King or wrong king. Oh, bring about the demise of. Oh my god, okay. Wrong king. So wrong feels like an anagram for king, which good thought, but not an anagram. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, wait. I think king equals K is all you need there. Oh, wrong. Um, oh, I see. Wrong. Uh, bring about the demise of. All I can think is like wreak havoc, but obviously wreak starts with a W. Sink. Oh, sink. Sin. Sink. Right? Okay, 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 okay. Wait, am I right? Okay, yes. Sink. Okay, so we've got that. We've got two more to go. So we've got 24 across and 26 across, I think. Although, is there a 23 down? No. So we've done all the downs. Say my name, say I'm yours, promise we'll never be oceans apart. <laughs> okay, 24 across, it's a long one. We've got waterfowl hunters at the rear wielded garden tools. Waterfowl hunters at the rear wielded garden tools. Oh geez. Honestly, I'll just do this so you can see it. Waterfowl hunters at the rear wielded garden tools. Waterfowl must be the definition. Yeah, I think I have the last part of it, garden tools, right? Is So is waterfowl the definition? Yes, okay. Garden tools I think would be spades, so that would be over here. Hunters at the rear. Wielded is held. Oh, so maybe it's not spades. Spades fits, but that's not it. Okay. I do like wielded as held, so that would be held right there. Shell drakes. That's a thing. Right? Okay. So, yes, okay. 
hunters at the rear indicates the S, so the end of hunters is an S. Wielded would be held. Garden tools is rakes. Sh sheldrakes. Nice. Good one. Okay, and last but not least, we've got 26 across. You can see both of those, right? So platter containing one pastry. I'm pretty sure it's Danish. <laughs> Um, why would it be Danish? Platter containing one. Oh, yeah. Dish containing one or an. So, yeah, that would be Danish. Ooh, that was a fun little easy one. I could lose myself in her eyes. Okay. So, we finished all of the actual clues. Now it is time to go for the box. I did not realize that there were box clues. <laughs> Katie, 23 down, no, it is not. I checked, 23 down is not a clue. Ends at 22 down. It goes for me, I can hardly breathe down, down below, under a spell. <sighs> okay. So there are box clues. Let's read. They weren't there when we started. Honestly, same. Um, so now we're going to read this little blurb, Rusty, and I hopefully this will be a little bit more clear now, but it might not be. <laughs> Twelve words begin somewhere within the central 4x4 four four box and go straight out of it, up, down, left, or right, ending at a heavy bar or the grid's border. Eleven of those words are clued in no special order under the box heading. Okay, so eleven of those. The unclued twelfth word accounts for the opening of the box. Reading clockwise from the top left in the finished box, the shaded squares show what goes outside, while the four interior letters shows what remains inside. All other grid entries are clued normally as a crosses and downs. I will say that made more sense to me this time than the first time I read it. But really, I feel like it just means we need to just um, do these. So, here's the deal. It's going to be challenging. <laughs> Marco. <laughs> because we don't know where these go, right? So we have to just kind of figure out what the answer is and then fit it in here based on the things that are going out of the box already. Out of the box. Out of the box. Solve the clues, find their places later. Yes. Okay. So let's do it. It's like another, it's just another cryptic puzzle. Okay. So let's drink some water really quick. Cheers. He is grace, he is beauty, I could lose myself. Should I just start with A? I'm going to just start with A. I see you all saying you got them. So let's start with A. So far, one topic for a cryptozoologist. Good question, Marco. It starts with, hey, I think I can do this, and before you know it, you're hooked. <laughs> I have been waiting for... Oh, like the A at the header. No, I believe these don't matter. So far, one topic for a cryptozoologist. I mean, is the definition cryptozoologist? Because I'm not going to understand what that is. Oh, topic for a cryptozoologist, maybe? Yeah. 
Yes, that is a definition. Okay. Is the one who studies the Loch Ness. Oh, uh, so Yeti. <laughs> so far is yet. One would be I. Topic for it would be a Yeti. Okay. So we figured that one out. Excellente. Yeti. And I wonder, I don't want to, no, we'll, we'll fit it in later. Okay, B, group circling a chair. Group circling a chair. Oh, group circling a, so I think the definition is chair. Yeah, group circling A. Yes, okay. So, chair. Yeah, it would be, so it's seat. Because the group is a set circling the letter A. Seat. Okay. Okay. I don't want to get cocky here, so I'm just going to say those were lucky. <laughs> German art song told a tale. German art song told a tale. Get away, get away. A German art song is called a um Lieb Lieb something. <laughs> lead leader. Oh German art song, lead. Told a tale. Lied. Ah, yes. Ah. <laughs> Leader. I don't know. I could not think of that. But, uh, but yes. Okay. Love that. Bad experience in recession. Bad experience in recession. In recession means backwards. Okay. So experience, so bad, I think, is the definition. Experience, a synonym for experience, read backwards. Yes, maybe? Okay. Um, is experience used here as a verb or as a noun? Commonly seen reversed word. Well, <laughs> experience is a verb. Okay. Four-letter word for bad. I know, I can't think of anything. Four-letter word for bad. Um... The worst kind of bad. Like satanic. Evil. Thank you. Evil. So no. Daniel, the word is not in recession. In the word recession, that is indicating that it's going to be read backwards. So experience would be live and then backwards would be evil. Jesus, Birthstone, ring, and bud. Birthstone, ring, and bud. What the heck? Why does everyone have this? <laughs> and bud. Oh. Opal. <laughs> Got it. I have been waiting for someone like you something like this yeah these feel good to me test in complex 
amortization. O oh, exam. I'm in love with you. Never inch of you. Do you see that? Exam in complex amortization. Every inch, every inch. Nice, okay. Express surprise when introduced to family doctor. Express surprise. Does that mean homophone? In full bloom. I'm yours forevermore. I have been waiting for. Sarah Marinara, what's up? We're finishing the one we started the other day, our little cryptic. Okay, so it does not mean homophone. Express a surprise. Oh, wait, hold on. Hmm, I don't think I'm going to know this. Express surprise is the definition. Is that correct? Okay, I want to say gasp, but literally only because that means express surprise. I don't, it wouldn't go, I don't know how it would go into introduce to family doctor at all. GP, I guess, a oh, general practitioner. As equals when? Oh, wow. Yeah, no. I don't think I would have gotten there. But we did get there. Okay. Um, as is when, because you could say, like, when I do this, blah, blah, blah. Or as I do this, blah, blah, blah. As it happens, when it happens, yeah. Loads of a thousand, whatever. <laughs> Loads of a thousand, whatever. And a thousand, we decided, was in Roman numerals. C. L. L. M. It is M. Or K or G, oh, that's so true. Um, well, whatever feels like meh to me. <clears throat> and it seems like loads is the definition. Loads of. Okay, it starts with an M. Loads of. Whatever you want. It's got to end in an S, right? Oh no, it doesn't start end in an S. Oh, 
Oh, many. Thank you. Whatever. Any. Okay, I got you. Got it. Oh, my goodness. My brain is on overdrive. Let's see. Build Crete in a novel way. Build Crete in a novel way. So that feels like an anagram, right? Oh, no, wait. <laughs> ben. Okay, so anagram of Crete, right? Meaning build. Am I right? Okay. I feel kind of... Oh. <laughs> Erect. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Ooh, getting a little salacious. Banned, Aaron says. Sarah, you're smart. You're so smart. Okay, revolutionary path or comic routine. Revolutionary path or comic routine. Is it a double definition? Yeah, it does feel like a double definition. Not quite double definition. Okay. Is comic routine the, the definition? Nope. <laughs> Revolutionary bath is the definition. Oh, boy. Or comic routine what is another word for comic routine stand up set comedy set skit that's good set um Height five. Gag. Um, gimmick. Bit. Act. <laughs> All of these are great. Oh, or plus comedy routine. Orbit. Orbit? Orbit. It's got to be revolutionary path. Nice. Okay, last one. Ooh, okay. That woman's outfit sounded wooly. Okay, <laughs> rude. That woman's outfit sounded wooly. So sounded has to be a homophone. Full bloom, and I'm yours forevermore. No. Okay. Yeah, that woman is either going to be her or she, right? And the definition is woolly, somewhat obscure word for woolly. It's her, then need a term for outfit. Mm. If it's an obscure word, I don't know it. Synonym for that woman's plus synonym for outfit. Wear, um, garb, uh, 
It's like a word for what you'd call someone who's hairy. Oh my god. <laughs> Her suit. Suit. <laughs> Marco, thanks for that. Okay. So let's fit these bad boys in here. So we've got Yeti, which I'm thinking goes here. Yeti, what do we think? Oh, is it it's spelled U T E? I didn't spell it right. <laughs> Thank you. I have been way. I know I'm just singing the same part over and over again. I'm so sorry. Way before. Isn't it so pretty? Okay, then we've got seat, which I feel like goes up here. Seat. Thanks, Daniel. Okay. Oh, and this is probably her suit, right? Let's do that. Also, you guys, the Queen song in Bridgerton. Freaking so good. I cried. Well, obviously, I cried with everything, but. Oh, with an I. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I love it when you guys say, like, my name. <laughs> You're like, Katie. It's blah, blah, blah. That really, it does get my attention. <laughs> I'm going to change it down here. Oh, my God, Sarah. Yes, we had a long conversation about it. Thank you for saying that. Okay, so we've done that. We've done that. And we've done that. So we've got lead or lied here. Oh, I see you say evil. Yes, I definitely see that there. Evil. Um, let's put lied here. Um, we've got opal. <laughs> Katie, it's not San Jay, it's San Pete. Thank you. Opal, opal, opal. Anyone see opal? Oh, here it is. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Not censoring erect. I see it. Ew, what is with this? My handwriting is going downhill. Down, diddy, down, diddy, down, diddy, down, down, down. Okay, exam. It's up here. Oh my god, this is so satisfying. That it's all just fitting. Gasp. Gasp. We go here. Okay. Many. Up here. Um, one more. Orbit. That's our last one. Orbit. So, we have fit all of the letters in there. So, it said... The unclued twelfth word accounts for the opening of the box. So, something open something. Got it? Okay, don't tell me. Don't, 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 don't. Does it go all the way down to, okay, well, yes, okay, so, uh, reading clockwise from the top left in the finished box, the shaded square shows what, show what goes outside while the four inches, okay, so, misery, <laughs> misery galore, hope, wait, no, misery, wait, Oh no, am I being ridiculous? Is it misery galore? Yes, okay. And then... Pand... <laughs> P 
Pandora's box. Hope is inside the box. Now, I don't know a lot about Pandora's box. But that's pretty freaking amazing. Alina, I feel like you know things about Pandora's box. <laughs> you, you know, you have so many facts. Oh my God, you just, yes, you're amazing. Pandora released all the miseries to the world, but shut the box before hope got out. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. Why does that, that makes me emo. Wow. Wow. See, it's worth it. It really is worth it. <sighs> Do you remember that one? I, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. Wow. Overwhelmed. Beating just for you. Beating just for me. I can hardly breathe. Yeah, I would never be able to, um, and then bear more release misery business. I would never be able to do this by myself. So I'm glad we're doing it together. And you guys, I have been thinking about, now hear me out, been thinking about making one extra stream per week where, oh my God, Marco, I'm so sorry, um, where I do cryptics with y'all. Because then we'd just get on together. I wouldn't start on TikTok or anything like that. But it'd just be like our little, our little group. Would that be fun? Yes, Ben, you're so right. Just to like, just because that way we've got a whole stream devoted to it. And then anyone who's like, literally get away from me, Satan, with that, they don't have to, they can, we, I'll still have the other ones, you know? Yes, Ben, this is all your fault. <laughs> oh, thanks, Daniel. That's so nice. Still want to watch, but... <laughs> That's amazing. BTH. I love it. <laughs> Have you made any TikTok vids about crypto clues yet? No. And I honestly don't foresee myself making any. I feel out of my element with them, and there is a, uh, an account already that, I don't know if she makes videos anymore or as regularly, but she was doing them a lot, and I just feel like TikTok is not the place. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I literally could be wrong, but just based on the videos I've made about clues, like regular crossword clues that I really like... And the response to those, I feel like people would be like, I hate you. <laughs> and I hate this. Yes, Erin. Clips the moment you discovered the theme. And oh, thank you, Goggles. Girl, you're the best. Chat on TikTok is so different. It really is. And I love it. I mean, I literally love TikTok so much. It's just different. Yeah, people are like, exactly. And people literally, they will say, I'll make a whole video and I will put the answer in the video. And they'll be like, you're wrong. <laughs> and I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> Katie, when are you going to drop merch? I don't know. Oh. Honestly, next, I feel that I have been um, lack, uh, slacking. <laughs> I was like, what's the word? Only because I've been doing this job that is only a four-week gig. So after um, next week, I'll be done. Actually, honestly, after next Wednesday, I'll be done, which will be super nice. Um, <clears throat> but it's just been taking all my energy. I'm like, so I was just telling my best friend and roommate that I'm just like so tired all the time. So... Oh, Alina, I'm obsessed with that idea. 
I am obsessed with that idea. <laughs> oh, and Brittany, yes, I would love to do that too. I don't know how to do it, but I'll look it up. After maybe this weekend, I'll take a look at some things because I just think it would be fun anyway. And I saw, um, or I've shown you guys what my one of my best friends got me for just as like a little gift, um, that mug or whatever that has like the, it's really cute. I'll show you on Sunday maybe. I know. <laughs> It's a joke. And that's the thing. It's like such an inside joke, but honestly, it has gone so strong for the last like four months or something. Oh my God. If someone recognized the joke, I would never recover. That is, that would be the best day of my life. Hi, bestie. He is roses and full blue. From Scotland, oh my god, hi, I wish I was where you are. When they ask, I'd promote coffee and co crosswords, Daniel. <laughs> LeBrat babysat for me when I was five. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Brittany. That's huge. Edinburgh. I'm hoping I'll be there someday soon. Could be happening sooner than I think. We shall see. Oh my god, 100 degrees, I'd rather die. Turn lab rat into LA brat. <laughs> I love a Pellegrino. <laughs> You guys, it's just us here. Can we just chat for a bit? I'll crack out a crossword in a little bit, but I just want to have a little, I don't know, let's just, little, let's just chat. Everyone give me, can we get like maybe a rose and thorn of the day? Oh my God, Brittany, you're so sweet. I will say my rose, my, I'll start with my thorn. My thorn was, I had a very hectic morning, very hectic and emotional or emotion filled morning. Lots of things happening. Um, but my rose was, I went to dinner with best friend and her family and her family friends and it was just a joy. I loved it. And I had ice cream when I got back and I love ice cream. Sound off in the comments. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Let's go. Thanks, Erin. See you next time. Hazelnut. Okay, wow. Butter pecan. Love that. Cookie dough. No discussion. <laughs> Sour sop. What's that, Nicola? Cookies and cream. Love that. Cookies and cream. Cotton candy. I love a hazelnut latte, Elena. Cotton candy. Okay, love that cookie dough. Mint chocolate chip. Thank you, Jazz Attack. Same. Mint chip. Yes, cookie dough. Chocolate brownie. That's a good one. Peanut butter and chocolate. Oh, my God. That's so good. Used to work in an ice cream store. I loved apple pie ice cream. Oh, my God. Yum. Americone dream. Love that. It's a tropical fruit. Oh, I've never heard of that before. Ben and Jerry fish food. Ben and Jerry milk and cookies is so good. Bluebell. <laughs> Homemade raspberry chocolate chip. Oh my god, yum. Has anyone here been to Jenny's? Coffee ice cream is also... haagen coffee ice cream can get it. Thanks, Sarah Marinara. 
I'll see you Sunday. Tonight is so good. Mint chocolate chip is so good. A mint chocolate cookie. <gasps> oh, you know. Rose water pistachio? What the? Wow. Jenny's. Jenny's is so good. Coffee flavor anything. Coffee and crosswords. Rum, but no raisin. Okay, love it. Oh, coffee Oreo. Yum. <laughs> I apologize for picking a favorite. Honestly, same. They're all so good. Oh, here's a fun little question. How does everyone, if you're a coffee drinker, how do you take your coffee? I drink mine black. <gasps> yes, goggles girl. Coffee goes with creamy flavors and tea goes with acidic flavors. Oh, I'm into that, Alina. Black, usually black. Oh my god, yes. One cream, two sugars. Love that. But the beans have to be from Indonesia. Oh my god, Rossi, I'm obsessed. As long as it gets to me, I don't care. <laughs> Ooey gooey butter cake. Oh my god. How dare you? It's so good. Double double like a true Canadian. <laughs> Black unless I'm in Oh my god, you guys, we are all hardcore. Wait, okay, I don't want to be crazy, but what's double double? I have a guess, but I actually don't think I know what it is. <gasps> Iced coffee with oat milk is absolutely supreme. You are correct. Cold brew with sweetened cream. Oh my god. That's like my treat whenever I feel spicy. Oh my god. Alina. Two creams, two sugars. Okay, that's what I that's what I um assumed. Mm, yes, Cameron Cardinal. <laughs> Kirby 13, you don't have to like it. <laughs> Here's my number. What's a double double? <laughs> oh, cold brew with cold foam is mm, so good. Ice chai with brown sugar syrup and vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Oh my god. Yum. Ooh, is it good? K Paula, I need to try that. I've of course had my pumpkin spice. Um or no, pumpkin cold, pumpkin cream cold brew. <laughs> what is it? I don't even know. Canadian James Bond's designation. Double, double of <laughs> But, um... The pumpkin scone is so... Oh, I need to try that. Pumpkin cream cold brew is so good. Ugh, oh, God, I love it. Where does everyone get their coffee? I go to Starbucks quite often, and I don't dislike it. And I'm not ashamed to say it, okay? I will say when I lived in Nashville, I, I, well, I actually went to Starbucks a lot, but, mo but I also went to, like, all the independent coffee shops, like, every single day. Okay, PMD Wapo. I'm obsessed with getting stars. <laughs> Pete's coffee, okay. Yes, okay, Rusty. Dutch Bros. Oh, I love Dutch Bros. Tim's, and I regret it every time. <laughs> Dutch Bros. Oh, I like that. We have Big B in Michigan. I really, oh, I've never heard of that. Starbies, yes. Duncan, okay, we have a Duncan. Pal. Oh, <gasps> Alina. That's right, you were saying you have a cafe downstairs. I'm so jealous. Like in Friends. You really get to live your best life. Neighborhood called Starbucks. Ooh, it sounds so cute. I wish I could try it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I 
The munchkins are so good, though. Oh, Julia Nicole, interesting. I think I'm the opposite of you. Central Perk. <laughs> yeah, I just make, I mean, I make my coffee at home every morning because I need it within 30 minutes of waking up. So I gotta, gotta make it. Oh my god, yes, Daniel. Every inch, every inch. I'm in love with you. Every inch of you. Oh wow, Catherine, that's interesting. I want to go to Seattle so bad. What is, do you guys listen to podcasts? I've been listening to, best friend and I have been listening to um, Justin Long's podcast, Life is Short with Justin Long and his brother, and I'm obsessed. I just love him so much, and um, he always does these like lightning round questions. Does anyone else listen to that? This had Oscar buzz. Ooh, that's a good idea. I love movies. Movie club. Of my own. Say goodbye. Well, let's see. Oh, this is a good question. Although it would be hard on here because... It's called Life is Short with Justin Long um, because they have different emotes on here. But what's everyone's most commonly used emoji? I like that question. Mine, I think, is just the heart. Oh, <laughs> actually, it's the crying face, <laughs> which just couldn't be more accurate. Otherwise, thumbs up. Okay, smiley face. Love that. Upside down smiley is so apt. Laugh cry. Love that. The shrugging person. <laughs> the sideways looking eyes. Ooh, that's saucy. Blushing smiley. Oh. And the s skull. And eye roll. That's a good one. Allergic left-handed zombie. Double heart. Oh. Oh my god, dumpster Jedi. That's such a good one. It's like uh, around here. <laughs> so true. I think that's such an interesting question. I think you can learn a lot about someone by their most commonly used emoji. The French. What else does he ask? Um uh If you could play any sport professionally, what would you play? I think mine, well, I don't know what mine would be because I think what I would be best at, which would not be good, but what I would be best at would be swimming because I swam my whole life. But I would rather, Alina, that's such a good one. Figure skating or gymnastics I think would be so fun. Mini golf, so cute. French Milwaukee and sausage wrapper. <laughs> La Brat. The one with the flashbacks. Oh my god, Daniel, MVP. Volleyball, that's a good one. Kayaking, I was going to say, figure skating. The professional duck pin pro bowling. Oh my god, dang, okay. Say goodbye. 
curling. <laughs> Your dogs like to watch garlic. That's cute. I'm really getting comfy here today. <laughs> Leg up here. What about if you could live anywhere else, where would you live? How do you keep Canadian bacon from curling in the pan? Take away its tiny broom. <laughs> Australia, good one. Mine would be Ireland. New Zealand, Iceland. Oh, I love all these answers. So many people, oh my god, you guys. So many people, when he asks this, they're like, hmm, Nashville. <laughs> Which, Nashville's awesome. But I'm like, Pawnee. <laughs> I love that. Every an That's what I'm saying. Every single answer, I would love that. Ireland, New Zealand is also one for me. Eagleton, <laughs> Disney World, oh, I believe I feel that. Singapore, that's a good one. I'm leaving the U.S. That's how I feel. I'm like, if, <laughs> if there's no strings attached, it's just a question. <laughs> Italy or Greece, yes. Scotland, yeah. Oh, my God. I already have a swimming pool filled with Evian, so it feels like a good fit. Vancouver, that's a good one. I would say Toronto is one of mine, too. I really like Toronto. I don't know. I just want to live everywhere, I think. Somewhere around the Alps, that's a good one. Vancouver is lovely. I've been to Vancouver. I went once. If we could live anywhere at Disney World, would be Disney World Resort. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, Nora, we're just chilling. <laughs> I've never done this before, but I'm quite enjoying it. Mm, the North Pole. <gasps> yes, Ben, I feel the same way. Yes, WLD9. I would live in Australia, too. I did like it. Dublin is amazing. I loved it there. When I went to Ireland, we didn't actually go to Dublin. We stayed, like, below that. But I love, I've never loved anything more, like, ever. The penguin down in Africa. <laughs> Stormy penguin 20. How apt. Costa Rica. That's a good one. Too many freaky animals. True. If I come across an emu, I'm out. Moving out. Mm. oh yeah Alina definitely infinite money because <laughs> we all are abundant that's what I'm manifesting for all of us Australia is amazing it's a little expensive but I loved Ireland as a whole though I'm trying to get back there so quick melophobia so quick Let's see what else. He always asks. There's some that I don't relate to, but he's, he asks, like, who's your favorite Muppet? But I don't know. I'm not, I've never been, like, a Muppets person. Fozzie Bear. Wow, Julie. Fozzie, the red crazy one. Elmo? <laughs> Too old for Muppets, yeah. Does Elmo count? I think Elmo should count. Why not? They kind of... Sorry, Jazz Attack. I will allow that, of course. But count, bon count counts. <laughs> oh, that's good. Katie, what was your favorite kids show? Like elementary age. Rocket Power and Spongebob. Elementary age, those are my faves. Of course, like the Disney Channel shows, but I think those were more middle school, maybe? 
Animal is a Muppet, I think. <laughs> Dragon Tales, that's a good one. How old are you, Katie, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 26. And I'm in denial. No, actually, I don't mind being 26. Thomas the Tank Engine, okay. PB&J Otter, yeah. Oh my god, of course I watched that. I don't really remember a lot about it. Although I think I remember like the opening sequence. <gasps> Nicola, yes. What month is your B-Day? January. PB&J Otter was IT it. Mm, DuckTales, okay. As told by Ginger, yes, I absolutely did. Gargoyles, I've never seen that. Roly Polioli, absolutely. Rugrats, absolutely. January 12th. I'm January 26th. Big Comfy Couch. Ugh. And um, Bear in the Big Blue House. The best voice actors? Well, I'll have to look it up. Blues Clues. Oh, don't say Blues Clues. Not now. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Franklin. And Arthur. Oh, Goggles Girl. Cute. We love an Aquarius. I love... Honestly, Spongebob is so good, though. Magic School Bus. Love that. Spongebob has never been bad, in my opinion. <laughs> And me and my siblings would always watch Rocket Power in the mornings. What else? Those were our two big ones. Zoom. I do remember Zoom vaguely. Old SpongeBob. Ripped Pants. We would listen to that in the car. <laughs> we had the soundtrack. It was so good. Dumpster Jedi. Did I see? Absolutely. And it ruined me. Figuring out what the secret ingredient in pet. <gasps> no. What is it? <laughs> Brittany. Give us the tea. No. Don't you try to hold me close. That door has closed now. No. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm on my own now. Oh, it's crab meat? Battles, I will be full for you. She explains it. Ooh, okay. Oh, cannibalism. <laughs> I will be full no more. Sweeney Todd under the sea. <laughs> okay, this one's a polarizing one. Not polarizing, but it's just a tough question. What is your favorite movie? Mine is The Sound of Music. I feel like maybe we've talked about that. <gasps> Julie Nicole. Love that. And am amazing choices all around. Kirby, absolutely. It is hard to choose one. Donnie Darko, wow. Matilda, Forrest Gump, that's my third. Beauty and the Beast, yes. Tombstone, okay. I've never seen it or heard of it. Remember the Titans, classic. Dirty Dancing, Zombieland. Oh my god, I love these. A Russian one called The Garage. Ooh, I'll have to keep that in mind. Breakfast Club. That's like my 11th, I think. Ooh, Lady Bird. Goggles Girl. I like it. Holes has everything. Oh, it's so good. Shawshank, of course, love that. Pretty Woman, love that. Top Gun, love that. 
Julie Andrews was in the top grossing movie of the year three years in a row. Mary Poppins sound of music and some obscure now forgotten one. Really? Some picks on me for this, but Van Helsing. Love that. Goodwill Hunting, A Night's Tale. Oh my god, yes. Mrs. Doubtfire, Moana, see the line where the sky meets the sea calls me. Holes is an amazing movie. That's like one of the ones I could watch over and over and over again. No one knows. Big Lebowski, so good. Gremlin scared you. Okay. Back to the Future. You can't go wrong. The Sting, okay. No. How to Seal a Million. I've never heard of that. Ooh, gonna keep that in mind. Oh, Brother, We're Out, though. Got a great one. Dread. Okay. Love that. <gasps> Perry Bird, what's up? We're chillin'. <laughs> Very much chillin'. Dirty Dancing New, How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, that's such a good one. Dr. Strangelove, hey! That was a movie club movie, like, last year. Mmm, About Time. Oh, my God. Oh, no, it's so good. <laughs> it makes me want to cry. Favorite movie soundtrack? Great question. Hmm, I don't know. I That is so hard. I mean... That's so hard. I don't want to be lame, but... Harry Potter just holds such a special place in my heart. Fletch with Chevy Chase. I've never seen it, but I've heard of it. Hamilton? Absolutely. Why not? Sound of Music, I guess. Yeah. Charade. Yes. I love Charade. Reflection by Milan. So good. The Cars soundtrack. Okay. Love it. Mm, Pride and Prejudice. National Lampoon, Rent, okay. Anything John Williams. I mean, obviously. You know what I mean? Like, what are we going to do? Not mention him? Jurassic Park theme song gets me in my feels. Tarzan. Oh, very solid choice. Series of Unfortunate Events film. Okay. Has anyone heard the guy that makes Disney songs? I have heard him on TikTok, right? Well, I've seen him on TikTok. He's probably on other platforms. Mm, Incredibles is so good. Mm, NGC 1025. Love those. Love your opinions. Oh, my God. The third Harry Potter movie, Buckbeak's Flight. <laughs> I used to pound that out on the piano, even though I'm not even a good pianist. I dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, good choice. Now, what's the worst movie y'all have seen? That's a great question. I don't know. <laughs> well, mature. I don't know. Oh my god. Regina Spector, The Call. That song gets me every time. The Box. Fantastic Mr. Fox was so bad. God, I don't know. Yeah, a lot of horror movies, I guess, are pretty, pretty bad. The Last Mimsy. Hmm. <laughs> you know what me and my roommate just watched today was um, the clip of Hilary Duff and Raise Your Voice. It hurts me. So maybe that. <laughs> can you do crossword? Yeah, we can. Why don't we do just another 15 by 15? Oh. <gasps> 
amateur. What an opinion. Oh no, Black Widow was bad. Oh, the host. No, don't you try to hold me close. Oh, the clips of the new Cinderella movie. I feel bad. I just think the mixing is so bad. Have you ever seen Camp? That's probably the best soundtrack, honestly. No, but I've seen Camp Rock. Katie, we can start doing harder 15 by 15s. Everyone here insta answers these easy ones. It's like cryptics. You get better, better. I know I only have Wednesday ones, though. So my options are Wednesday easier puzzles, which are kind of fun. They're like a little lightning round. Or Sunday puzzles, which are giant. Yeah, Melophobia. <gasps> Demi saying their heart out. Oh my god, they were so amazing. This is real. This is me. <gasps> we watched the Scream series. Three was horrible. Okay, that's a hot take. I love every single Scream movie. They're my favorite horror movies. Can I send you some harder NYT ones to print? Yeah. I'd love that. What about the drunken crossword book? We could do that. <laughs> Scream one is obviously the best. I mean, yeah. I cannot go a year without watching that at Halloween. That is like... Hello? Um, one of my all-time favorite movies. I will be a fool for you. I will be a fool for you. Okay, what? Yes, Scream 4 was like so good. I had, I had very low expectations. I was like, you guys are... <laughs> Really trying. So walk on out that door. What's ACPT? Scream 4 was good. You should watch it. American Crossword Puzzle Tournament. Oh my god. Send them to me and I am scared. Okay, let me... Walk on out that door. Oh, I always forget. Oh, my computer is so hot right now. Oh my god, Katie. Power Manga Ming. Ma Power Man Gaming. <laughs> why can't I read? I literally don't know why I can't read. Okay, 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 okay. Let me... <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, 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 okay. Will Ferrell and Zoolander. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a little bit of a lightning round because we're um, running out of time. I'm running out of time and my time's up. Eyes up. Anyway. Margaritaville. The time to beat? Three minutes and 12 seconds. <laughs> Okay, so uh, give me a number, please. Yeah, three hours, 12 minutes. 
12. Thank you. Melophobia. Melophobia. 12 down. Ooh, a film. Film musical featuring In the Still of the Night. Film musical featuring In the Still of the Night. I should know this, but I don't. Our very own theme song. <laughs> oh no! What is it? Film musical featuring. There's only so many film musicals. Anastasia? That doesn't fit. <laughs> Dang. Okay, let's do 11 across. Let's work our way down. Dade, de, dade, Hans, dadaes, dadaist, Hans, something, Hans, something. Oh, oh, no, that's not right. Um, ARP? ARP. Okay. 16 across. Say sweet nothings would be cool. Nineteen across. Fort Collins College. Fort Collins College. CSU. Okay, let's do 11 down. Doesn't reject. Doesn't reject, accepts. 13 down. French composer Francis. Francis. One of my besties went there, Colorado State. Ski Katie. <laughs> poutine. Wait, is it Poutine? No. Pool light. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, you never know. Okay, 21 across. Trying experience. Trying experience. He is sunrise. She is rain. My name is Furthermore. I have been waiting for. 29 across, Sean of the Lord of the Rings, Aston. So maybe Rosalia? I don't know Rosalia, but I'm going to put it. I think that's right. Um, 32 across. I'll be right there. Oh, no, it's not. Rosalie. <laughs> In a sec. Or no, wait. I'll be right there. Um, just a sec. Doesn't quite... Give me a sec. I was thinking that, but it doesn't quite fit either. Just one sec. Okay. 22 down. Win over with charm. Would be... Oh, I would think dazzle, but that's not right. Win over with charm. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, disarm. Oh, so not just one sec. Okay. Okay, I see y'all. Let's see. 36 across. Country invaded by Putin. By Putin. <laughs> Country invaded by Putin. Ukraine? Ukraine. Okay. Ten down. Troops in the back. Troops in the back. Rear guard? Hmm. Rear tank. Rear <laughs> rear rank? <laughs> getting me <laughs> rear rank okay <laughs> oh my 
god, why is Teet Tang making me laugh so hard? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I think this is hang on a sec or something. <laughs> I misplaced my fingers. No, Eric, I totally get you. Autocorrect is rude, too. <laughs> yes, Alina. Oh my god, it's so good. 33 down is released or out. Okay, 9 down. What autocorrected big teeth? That's so true. <laughs> Nine down. Meat out. Meat out. Uh, ration. Um, a lot. Okay. Six down. <laughs> I mean six across. Oh, I'm so happy. The real co-host Braxton. The real co-host Braxton. Ooh, I don't know. 15 across is confuse. Confuse. Addle. Hang on. I'm thinking either hang on a sec or hold on a sec. So I was just waiting. Let's do 26 down. The restaurant at the blank of the universe. The restaurant at the blank of the universe. Tamar Braxton. Gotcha. End. Okay, so hold on a sec. Okay, 28 across. <laughs> I just thought about it again. Okay. <laughs> Word after farmers or spray. Word after farmers or spray. Tan. Oh, yeah. <sighs> 25 down. Ch Shmerkovsky of Dancing with the Stars. Farmer's Tease. <laughs> oh my god. Val. Seeds 211. Love that. Let's look at 23 across. Off the wall hit, maybe. Off the wall hit, maybe. Something triple. <laughs> Six down is snack with a rolled up tortilla. Mm, anything. Taquito. Seven down. Freddy once hailed as the next Pele. And eight down. First year of the 16th century. Eight and do. Eric, don't say that. We need you. Please don't leave. Okay. Um, this looks like tequila. Something with tequila. So let's see. 17. Oh my god, wait. I have an idea. Hold on. 17 across. Star of a bisexual dating show was Tila Tequila. Okay. I think it's going to give all of the ingredients for, for Margarita. We've got tequila, we've got triple sec, and other things. <gasps> Ooh, how fun is this? Okay, 18 down. Suffix for chariot and pamphlet. Suffix for chariot, ear, E-E-R, E-E-R. Drinks, Katie, yeah, we should drink. Oh, <laughs> so I do, I do know my tequila. <laughs> I love tequila. This is water, though, just so that's clear. Okay, five down. Rank smelling. Rank smelling. Nasty. Line drive triple. I see you. Okay. Rotten doesn't quite fit. Nasty doesn't quite fit. Hmm. Okay, line, drive, triple. So yes, five down was rank smelling. Oh, uh, oh. 
Oh, I just had it in my brain and I lost it. Fetid. Okay, that's what I was thinking. But I couldn't, I didn't know if that meant smelly. Okay, so 20 across. Farewell, Francois. Adieu. French alert. Four down. Duck. Duck or evade. Love that word. Three down. Jack of fitness. Oh, lantern. <laughs> no. Um, to you and you and you. Mm. Palance. Lalan. Okay. One across. Symbol on a violinist's score would be some clef. What are they? What are they playing? A G clef. Lalane. Okay, gotcha. One down. Goon's piece. Goon's piece. And two down. Frequently used method for laying waste to a city. Fourteen across plant used to make mezcal would be agave. Oh, I see. Okay. CGI. Okay, 23 down. Big ape. Big ape. A, um, uh, I don't know. A lug. Lug. 24 down. Like the verb to be. Abbreviation. Irregular. 27 across decorative vase would be an urn. 30 across. Dharma's love. Greg. <laughs> Dharma and Greg. That's funny. That's okay, Daniel. We're back. Oh. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, 31 down. Faust composer. Faust composer. Oh, nice, Elena. Okay. Okay, 34 across. Sugar suffix would be os. 32 down is blank dot or is blank spec. Particle man lyric. Is he a... Uh, Okay, uh, 37 across. This feels like a theme answer. Spoiled child in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Veruca Salt. Well, that's it. So, could this be a U? Gunad. Daddy. I want another pony. I want a squirrel. <laughs> okay. 35 down. Make a killing. Make a killing. Score big. Oh my god, yes! Okay, 37 down. Airplanes paths on radar. Airplanes paths on radar. And 47 across is skin flints prefix. What the hell? Vectors, nice. Econo, okay. 38 down, animal also known as the spiny anteater, which na a name which does not prepare you for how adorable it is. <laughs> animal also known as the spiny anteater. Echidna? Okay. 39 down. 
Structural element for protection in a car crash. Structural element for protection in a car crash. Roll bar. I don't, I didn't know any of these. <laughs> Roll bar, I don't know about ODB. 57 across is founding member of the Wu-Tang Clan for short. 63 across messenger molecule RNA, 66 across patriotic men's organization, SAR. I guess that makes sense. Okay, 55 across. Gotcha. <laughs> 55 across. Features of El Nino and La Nina would be tildes. 51 down. River through Grenoble. River through Grenoble. Hmm. I've never seen it with an extra E on the end. <laughs> Howard, you're so right. Oh, with an I? Okay, 40 down. Digits assigned at birth, abbreviation B, social security number. 41 down. Letters on a wanted poster. AKA. 48 across. Enjoy Whistler. Enjoy Whistler would be ski. So let's look at 50 across. Bleaching powder. Bleaching powder. Chlorinate, chlorinate, bleaching powder. Chlorinated, oh, that makes sense. Chlorinated, um, it's got to be something, another ingredient. Lime? <laughs> Chlorinated lime, is that a thing? <laughs> Chlorinated vodka. Is it? Chlorinated lime? Oh, because they're thinking of... Not the fruit. <laughs> okay, I got you. Nice. Uh, theme alert. <laughs> when you drop your limes in the swimming pool. Yeah, you get it. 67 across, sign on a men's room door, would be gents. 64 across, me, myself, and Irene. I feel like I'm yelling all of a sudden. You put the lime in the swimming pool and... Nah, I got nothing. 59 down. Night of Odes. Night of Odes would be... In. 60 down network that aired raising the bar network that aired raising the bar TNT TNT okay let's look at 58 across Tim Burton movie featuring the banana boat song Beetlejuice <laughs> right gotta be Juice. Oh, lime juice. There we go. So, 42 down. Tiny family in a series of children's novels. Be the littles. Theme alert. Thank you, Julie Nicole. Okay, 52 down. Back in time. Would be air. 53 down, kind of mustard. Mm, Dijon. Delicious. Oh, that's another question. Ketchup or mustard? Sound off in the comments. 
I'm a mustard gal. 54 down. Magna cum laude. Laude. Mustard. Mayo, okay. Both, love it. Ketchup, okay. And more mayo. <laughs> Ketchup, for sure. Russian amounts of mayo. Oh my god. 43 across. Tom Blank Shoes. Tom Blank Shoes. Team Mustard. <laughs> Dijon Ketchups. Oh, McCann, I knew that. 44 down. Spicy Vegetables. Chilies. Chilies. Say goodbye. Can you do polls and discard? Oh, I don't know. Uh, 49 down. Or across. Its capitals were Regensburg, Frankfurt, and Prague. Abbreviation. Its capitals were Regens Regensburg, Frankfurt, and Prague. H-R-M, H-R-E. 45 down was strong blank, pressure, strong arm. 46 down, word before a maiden name. Nay, and I know that's how you say it. Um, 65 across. Cineplex blank, cinema chain. That's an O. Cineplex. I would you think you next. <laughs> oh, Dion. Okay, and 68 across. Sites of some egg donations, question mark would be nests. 61 down, basic bed is caught. 62 down, short dashes, ends. And you guys, it wasn't 3 minutes and 12 seconds, but it was pretty good. Pretty freaking good. My own mouth. Fight my own battles. I wish I had a margarita right now. Was there... Not an Anton Chekhov clue. Um, there probably was. Let's see. Do you see it? Agave, we did get 14 across. Plant used to make mezcal. Mmm. 25 across. There's no 25 across. Wait. Oh, 25 down. I see. From Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Val. Tequila, Chipisec, salt, lime juice. That was really nice. I like that one. I can fight my own battles. So if you learned anything today, it's listen to the Bridgerton soundtrack. Just around three seconds a word, no? Yeah. I don't know how people do that. But Ben said <laughs> with practice he can do them very quickly i've never gotten better than four something on a monday puzzle okay so no freaking way well this was lovely you guys thank you for indulging me thank you for hanging out we we're all just chilling so if you hated that i'm sorry let me know if you liked it i love hanging out Oh, Rusty, bless you. Yes, WLD9, I feel that. This was fun. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. So maybe we'll do this more often. I don't know. Um, but I like kind of going with the flow. So I will see you on Sunday for Coffee and a Crossword. One of my faves. Thank you, Alina. One of my favorite days of the week. And love y'all. Mean it.